Greetings, this is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here with a special message for lightworkers, twin flames, and all of those on a spiritual journey. Today I drew a card that reminded me that we are in an intense period in 2017 where we've just passed through the energies of a full moon in Virgo. We're approaching the spring equinox and we're still in Venus retrograde. So very strong energies are causing us to upgrade as light workers, as light beings as we shift and transition from our third dimensional selves into our fifth dimensional selves. I drew this card for my daily Twitter feed, posted it and was inspired by the message and wanted to share it with all of you. I know it's helping me. So the message here is from Ascended Master Mataji and crimson cuprite, the stone, or the crystal. This message is from the Crystal Mandala Oracle by Alana Fairchild. The passage reads, We bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. We will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in the future without becoming overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now which nurtures you with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy, whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nourishing grace. On the path of light, there are many highs, beautiful visions, stunning inspirations, and transcendent experiences, experiences of bliss, love, and peace. It can feel amazing, Yet, like the uplifting and inspiring light of the sun, it is possible to have more of a good thing than you can handle at any one time. Overexposure to the spiritual light feels great for a moment and then terrible afterwards. The body and mind can feel burnt out, overloaded, and confused. The great high followed by a dreadful low. You may feel emotionally unstable and even overwhelmed by so many inspirations but with no real plan as to how you can bring them to life with methodical, practical steps. The spiritual light can help you live your divine destiny, but for it to shine bright and show you the way rather than burn you, you must learn how to balance your love for the light with devotion and care for your body. The calling in of spiritual assistance is a key aspect to your spiritual growth. The energy of your spirit, your guides and angels, is very real and is the equivalent of turning on more lights in your soul house. Whilst more light can make it easier to see what you are looking for and that is so often right in front of you. If you have too much light going on, especially over a long period of time, you may unwittingly cause the circuits to ignite and burn down the house. You don't want this path. You don't want this to happen because it doesn't feel good and it doesn't help you on your path. You need enough light to see and grow by, but not so much that it becomes more important to you than the need to care for and respect your body. There are times when the body just needs softness and time to simply be and express itself in a spontaneous, carefree way. It needs to be like a little child, happy and allowed to play and feel good. It needs to switch off from thinking about spiritual matters and doing healing work now and then. You need discipline to continue to grow on the spiritual path and to heal yourself. And if you balance that discipline with a self-loving, self-caring attitude, it won't be so difficult to keep it up. This oracle of relief and repair comes with a message about your spiritual growth. You may or may not be aware of it, but you are learning to call more spiritual light into your body, your mind, and your life. 
Perhaps you have been praying to the universe more, asking for help. Perhaps you have been meditating more often or reading spiritual books and opening your mind to new levels of consciousness. Or perhaps your soul has just been growing even if you don't quite know why it is happening or recognize it consciously. This is all good. However, your body needs time to adjust to the increase in light. If you just keep going without taking a short break, it would be like continuing to eat and eat and eat without taking time to digest and eliminate in between meals. Although you may be eating very good quality meals, in time it won't matter. It will just become too much. So the oracle will help you. Take a short rest and repair now so you don't become unwell or overloaded and need to take a much longer break later on. You are being given healing and you need it. When you have a strong spirit that has conditioned your body and mind to simply keep up, it can be easy to forget that although your spirit is an unlimited being, your body and mind exist within a reality held together with the parameters of time and space. This means that although your spirit doesn't need sleep or recovery time, your body and mind certainly do. If you are not in the habit of asking yourself if you need rest and responding when you realize that perhaps you do, or if you don't often notice your own cues for needing rest and therefore end up sick or exhausted, then this oracle comes to you with compassionate grace. It is an express message from the Universal Mother asking you to melt into her warmth and restoration. She is offering you a chance to be repaired by her healing power. It is highly suggested you give yourself the opportunity to receive it by doing the healing process and then resting for a time. This oracle also indicates that any situation that may appear to be never-ending is not so, and any brokenness of heart or will, defeat or apparent failure, can and will be resolved and restored through the hand of her radiant grace. She will bestow her blessing of relief and repair upon you in your life situation. Allow her grace to resolve your life circumstances as she sees fit so you can be revived by her rich warm life force. When the Divine Mother turns her attention to a matter, there is no such thing as a lost cause or inevitable defeat. Her ways are many and her resources great. When she decides to animate something that may have otherwise seemed devoid of life, her power is that of the phoenix rising again after all has seemed lost. Allow her to serve your body, mind, and spirit in the way that best serves you now. Surrender into her tender, loving care. So this card also has a healing process. And it says, to integrate this guidance, you may like to say this invocation now, so you may repeat after me. I call upon the crystal angel of crimson cuprite and ascended master Mataji, who loved me unconditionally. Thank you for the divine healing blessing of relief and repair. I take delight in the divine restoration without limitation. I thank you for the healing grace of life and vitality you bring to my body, mind, and spirit now. May the tender, reviving love of your embrace be felt by all beings in need. Through divine compassion, unconditional love, and my own free will, so be it. It also says if you wish to further integrate this guidance, place the oracle card with the mandala image facing upwards at your feet. So you may put your phone down or computer screen down or just gaze down at the image and relax and breathe in and out several times and say aloud, I choose of my own free will through this and any lifetime and through all layers of my entire being to unconditionally receive the healing gift of relief and repair from the Divine Mother through divine grace and unconditional love, so be it. 
Rest for as long as feels best for you. You may like to lie down or be seated with the mandala image either facing upwards at your feet or facing inwards at the base of your spine or at any point on your body that feels painful, tense, or in need of healing. Then when you are ready, you can take the oracle card image or just an image of it in your mind and put it between your palms so your hands are in the prayer position. Bow your head and say, May divine love bring the divine mother's gift of relief and repair to all beings who can benefit from her unconditional love. May all be beings be happy and free according to divine compassion and in service to the great divine plan of love unfolding, so be it. You can finish your healing process with this affirmation said aloud three times. I receive the blessings of the Universal Mother unconditionally. I am blessed with her warming grace of relief and repair. I receive the blessings of the Universal Mother unconditionally. I am blessed with her warming grace of relief and repair. I receive the blessings of the Universal Mother unconditionally. I am blessed with her warming grace of relief and repair. I hope this oracle card reading helped you. Many blessings to you. Namaste.